Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Tafaz Masakari, a Jesuit priest. I'm going to share with you a reflection on the third Sunday of Advent, year A, based on the readings Isaiah 35, verse 1 to 10, James chapter 5, verse 7 to 10, and the Gospel passage, Matthew chapter 11, verse 2 to 11. This third Sunday of Advent is sometimes referred to as Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete is a word, a Latin word, meaning rejoice. As you can see, the entrance on phone for this Sunday is rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Indeed, the Lord is near. Our readings this Sunday are a message of assurance and hope. We encounter John the Baptist in the Gospel, who is in prison and he is disappointed and in a state of desolation and he begins to question the authenticity of Jesus Christ as the Savior. He expected Jesus to condemn the Pharisees, the tax collectors and the Herod, but Jesus does not seem to meet the expectations of John the Baptist. Therefore, John the Baptist appears disappointed, he questions his faith, he questions his belief in Jesus Christ. Sometimes in our lives we encounter such experiences whereby the difficulties of this world, the confusion of this world, can lead us to question our faith, to question the significance and the meaning of our faith. I'm glad to notice that Jesus responds to John's questions by enumerating the works he is doing fulfillment of the prophets we read in the first reading of Isaiah chapter 35 verse 1 to 10. The blind can see, the lamb can walk, the mute can speak. Indeed, the loving kindness of God is being expressed by the works of Christ. And our challenge today is to be like our master who is Christ to cooperate in his loving kindness, to cooperate in bringing peace and joy to the world, regardless of the challenges that we might face, the circumstances of our lives. So dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to ask for the grace of God to grow more intimately in our relationship with Christ so that we may become more loving and loving, offering him loving service through our neighbor. May God bless us all and continue to strengthen our faith.